All right, so I had a lot of you guys ask me to do a video on color tinting. So we've got a perfect one here. This is an old Honda Odyssey. You guys can tell by this handle area if you're in the business. But these are the colors that tend to fade out a lot of these light blues. And when you take off the belt molding, you'll see how much more violet this color was. And you can even see the stripe underneath here, how dark it is to this area here that has now got a lot yellower and a lot lighter because you lose that violet from the sun. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and tint out this blue. I'll take you outside, show you the color, and I'm gonna show you guys some tricks that I do that'll get you through these jobs. So let's get into it. All right, so this here's the vehicle that we're gonna be dealing with today. And this here is the closest chip that I have so far here for this chip. This is the prime, but you guys can see here, this is much bluer and this is much yellower. So I thought this one would be good to show you guys some of the tricks that I do to get my color closer on some of these faded jobs. Cause in the business, usually the chips that I have or my spray outs are gonna get me very close. And if not, I'll even go ahead and color tint as I'm mixing my actual paint that way I can get my color closer because I'm very familiar with the strength of the toners and what these toners do. So let's go ahead, we'll mix up our paint, we'll get painting in the booth and we'll start to tint this color around. That way we can get a better match than what we obviously have here because this would never work on this job. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this here is our color. We're gonna be starting out with the prime like I told you guys. And this one here is gonna be about 15 ounces. So we put our 15 ounces in and then it's gonna give us our formula here. So right away when I look at this color, I wanna be looking at the colors that I know are really gonna change that, which are gonna be this here, violet, and that is called T443 in the PPG line. So that's one right off the bat when I mix this color, I'm gonna go ahead and leave some of that out as well as the deep black. So if I was gonna mix about a 15 ounces for that job, I'm gonna go with about half of the violet to start out with. I could always add more back in if I need to, but I'd rather leave out about 15 grams, see where we're at with it. And on the black, I'll probably leave out about five grams with it. So I'm not gonna spray the card in prime. We'll go ahead and mix this as this tinted way. As I told you guys, we'll leave out 15 grams of the violet, five grams of the deep black, and then we'll see where we're at with it. All right, so before we mix up the color, I wanna show you another tool that most manufacturers have with their paint system. So this is a tinting guide. And this will show you each toner, what it does, what flop it has, how coarse it is. And I use this one sometimes when I'm in a bind and I need to get help. So for you new guys out there, reach out to your reps and get this type of information. That way you're gonna able to get your colors tinted out a lot quicker without doing all kinds of mixtures and wasting paint. This is gonna help you pinpoint what you need to do. And I do use this from time to time, even though I'm very familiar with this system. These are the kind of things that are gonna help you get quicker at tinting because then you're gonna know which one worked for you next time and you're able to just go right in it other than just trying, trying and wasting paint. So use these type of guides no matter what system it is. All the systems usually have stuff like this to help you to get you in the ballpark and it's a very handy tool. This is one I like. It shows you the toners and which way it goes, whether it's on the wheel of color. If you had to add in some yellow, if you wanted to bring something more to the greener side or to the violet, blue, red, this is gonna show you which toner does that and how they compare against other toners. So definitely some valuable information. If you're in the business, make sure you get your hands on these no matter what system you have. But let's go ahead and mix that paint up and see how close we are for a starter.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and check it. And when you're checking your color, you wanna make sure that you're gonna check it to what you're gonna be panel painting as well as over there. Cause you're gonna have room with that color to blend and the old color on the back of that door is what is gonna meet up with this. So we're gonna be good because we're blending here. So we don't have to worry about this as much as we have to worry about the post and the hood. So you guys seen that that color was already a lot closer than what we had when we started. We've got a lot more blue and violet in this one and now we're getting in the ballpark. So right away I can see that we're very, very close with this one. So depending on what you need, whether you're gonna wanna go a little bit lighter, I like to use the trace colors. One of my go-to colors, if I'm gonna lighten something up, is gonna be the 402 because it isn't a full strength white. It's more of a trace transparent. So that way when you add in what you need to, you're not gonna milk out the color because a lot of times you'll add some white in and then you'll milk that color out and that color is finished. So when you need to lighten a color, I like to go with the 402 trace or if you need to darken something, you can go with the 404 Trace Black, which is gonna give you a darker tone, but it's not gonna mud it out as much. So right away, I'm looking at this one here and we're very, very close with this one already. So let's go ahead and show you guys how it looks up to the hood. All right, so this is gonna be the most crucial area to what we're going for. And you guys can see there that we're very close to what we need to be with this here color, especially against what we started out with there that very dark, more violet color. So you gotta get an in-between color because you have a lot of areas that you're meeting up to as well as areas that you're gonna panel paint. So I'll always go to my panel painted areas first. And then I know once my color is close enough for this, it's obviously gonna blend because it's matching up to this so nicely. So I'm gonna do a little bit of tweak into this one. I'm gonna add a couple drops of black. I think it needs a little bit more black in it and uh, we're gonna spray that one more time and check it. And then I think we should be good to go on this one. All right, we've got our card sprayed and you can see the line of where we darkened it up with the 404 Trace Black. So that's the go-to black that I like to use. And you guys can see here that we did what we had to do. We got this color very, very close. That's gonna work perfectly for this here vehicle. And that's gonna meet up to the hood nicely. You can see here that we were a little light when we used the color without the 404 in it. So I think we're gonna be on the money now for that panel paint, especially for this older of a vehicle. That is gonna work out perfectly. So let's check it to the post. And look at that, we got a beautiful match now for this here faded out color. This is where we needed to worry about this here, as well as the hood, and we've got that color now dialed in beautifully. Let's take it over to the other side and check the fender, because we are putting a bumper on this one. All right, and check the fender out to the bumper. I think we got an awesome match over here as well. So those are the things that you gotta do on the fly. It's hard for me to do these videos with you guys, because I got a shop to move through here of work. And when I get one like this, I told you I would do it. So that's the tricks that I give you when you got a faded out job. And uh, there's other tricks that we can do when I get to one of those videos, we'll definitely do it. But I gotta get in there and clear that job and I'll show it to you guys all finished up.
All right, so that's the video on the color tinting. Let me know how you guys would have handled that at your shop and let me know what you guys think of the job, how it came out all together with the color match. That is an older vehicle and it was very faded, so we had to do what we had to do on the fly. So I hope you got some tips out of this one and look at what we got here. We got another satin. This is a really nice blue. Let me know if you guys want me to shoot this one with you and we'll see you guys on the next one.